as I went through advanced aquarium systems, I was absolutely amazed. This is a vintage store with vintage tanks that are packed full of rare fish. I guarantee you're gonna go through this video and see fish you have never seen before. Hope you enjoy the video. So this is Advanced Aquarium Systems located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I will put their information down in the description below. This is an amazing fish store. This is the view right when you walk in. They've got a stingray, they've got a large uh, boo puffer, and these fish are going in a much larger tank that they are working on. It's somewhere over eight to 900 gallons. This was a trick that the stingray liked to play with the gravel vac. Apparently, that is something he likes to do. But this store was packed with vintage aquariums. And you can see all these metal frame tanks and it was so striking when you see it in person, aisle after aisle of these old school metal frame tanks packed with rare fish. And that's what you're going to see throughout this video. I did the best job I could of labeling the fish when I could, but please understand that most of these aquariums had maybe four, five, six, or more different types of fish in these aquariums, so it was really hard to get the labels on all of them. And the nice thing is they had fish for everyone. If you're into nano fish, they've got you covered. If you're into cichlids, they've got you covered. If you're into community fish or more aggressive fish or large monster fish, they had it all. And they had fish, like I keep saying, that I have never seen before. Check out this platinum angel. That was a really nice looking fish that just kind of sparkled from across the aisle. Here you've got some parrot fish, and we are going to be getting into some of the more rare fish. This was a really cool tank filled with some imperial tetras. Like I said, there were a number of fish in a lot of these aquariums. The African longfin tetra was here as well, and just so much to see, so many fish that I really wanted to take home, but I couldn't because we were on our motorcycles. And in fact, if you are ever, if you are someone in the Midwest who likes to go to Door County, this would be a great place to stop at when you leave Door County on your way home, where do you see these? These were the Lamp Eye Congo Tetras. This is a fish I had never seen in person before, and the video is not doing them justice. How yellow they were and how blue their eyes were were just absolutely amazing. They had a very large selection of rainbow fish as well. You've got the reds over here, you've got turquoise rainbows. Now, some of these tanks were a little bit hard to get in focus. The pencil fish were absolutely insane, but sometimes it was picking up the fish in the tank behind the aquarium I was trying to film, so I tried to minimize that as best I could but it was just hard to completely eliminate at times. These were brackish water gobies that I just thought were really cool. And they do it, lots of gobies do. They find a place to hang out and they just chill out. And they had a lot of common fish there as well, but I, I wanted to spend more time on some of the fish that you don't always get to see because I think we can do fish door tours and I can show you platies and mollies and, and neon tetras all day long, but I wanted to show you fish that maybe you don't normally see. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with common fish. They're common because they're cool, but there's lots of other things to see here as well, such as the spotted blue eye rainbows. And here we've got some Buenos Aires tetras. These fish can be somewhat aggressive and so you got to be really careful with the Buenos Aires Tetra because they can start fitting up in other fish and be really rough on one another. They also had a really large selection of plants. I mean a lot of the aquariums that you're seeing here are packed full of live plants. Joanna took this footage. I thought it was better than the footage I took of those those yellow lamp eye, uh, uh, yellow lamp eye Tetras and so I wanted to show you that one more time but so much awesome stuff to see here. You've got the electric blue acara, nice selection of angelfish, and boy, do I have a tank to show you in a little bit here. Uh, that's going to be really cool. Got the denison barb, otherwise known as the rose line shark. They were large and they were healthy looking, which was pretty awesome. And one of my favorite fish in this tank was the mascara barb. I don't think they get enough attention, but this could be a really cool schooling fish for that four foot tank. Here's the next aisle again. Super awesome because of these vintage tanks everywhere. Again, lots of rainbow fish, pretty much all the rainbows you could ever want. And here's one. This is the Allen Eye Rainbow. I brought these in one time, sold them at swaps, and I was sold out, in, I'm not kidding, inside of three minutes. Here, they've got a bunch of them, and I believe they're locally bred too, which is pretty cool. These gudgeons were pretty awesome. As long as the rosy bitterling, those are really, really cool fish as well. There 
a nice selection of a pistogramma here. Lots of different types. I think there were at least four to six different types of epistos. Epistogramma are dwarf cichlids, and they are a really great fit for a 20 gallon or larger. Check these out, the Chinese tiger goby. I have the purple spot gobies that have kind of a similar appearance, but apparently these ones get even larger, somewhere between seven and 10 inches. And these were just, I mean, they were striking fish. They were probably about six inches or so at the pet store. This was cool, the yellow cloud minnow. They had obviously a little bit more yellow than your typical uh, white cloud minnow does. Here's the next row and you're going to see that there are some large tanks coming up with some really unusual fish as well. Here we had some bettas. We've got some lemon tetras there that were really showing a lot of yellow along with some more rainbow fish and the albino heckali are in here as well, sometimes hard to find. So that was pretty cool that they were readily available here. The golden dorado, a fish I had not ever considered putting in an aquarium, was chilling out with some really actually fairly large stingrays lots of guppies here so if you're into guppies they got you covered there and they had tons and tons of other fish never had heard of these fish before either and take a look at these large barbs there were two really awesome ones in here the red cheek and the signal barb this is a fish if you're looking for a larger fish for some of those south central american tanks this could certainly be an option if you've got a really large six foot tank or greater. And they had tons of cichlids there as well. Uh, Lake Tanganyikan cichlids, Malawi cichlids that I'll show you in a few minutes. So they had the rock dwellers. You've got the Cyprochromus in here. You've got Calvus and Compressiceps. Uh, like I said, they had Mbuna in here as well. Just so many different types. So if you're into cichlids, this is definitely a place where you could go. And there was some fish here that actually made me want to go brackish. Not these in particular, but these. Check out these tiger scats. This is really making me want to set up a brackish water tank because the color on these fish, again, the camera's just not doing them justice, how amazing they looked in real life and in person. A lot of people like when we bring in rainbow shiners they had them here as well and they also had goldfish for those of you who like to keep those check out these these were pretty cool as well and as i've mentioned if you love cichlids you like peacock cichlids you like imbuna they had them here lots of lots of variety lots to choose from here you've got some more Mbuna mixed in with some other types of fish. And then here's another row, some large tanks coming up here, some cool stuff to see. And here we've got, well, we've got different types of vieja. I see some spilum in there. I see black belt cichlid, the parrots, check these out. So these Brycon, these get big. And so they can be anywhere from around 16 to 18 inches. So, inches. so you need a large tank to keep a group of these, but they are really interesting looking. And these crabs were pure fresh water. I have never seen color on crabs quite like this. They were absolutely awesome. So again, this was Advanced Aquarium Systems located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I cannot stress it enough. If you're in that area, if you ever go up to Door County, Northern Wisconsin, if you're going up to see a Packers game, definitely check this place out. It is well worth it. Their information is down in the description below. Really appreciate you being here, and we will see you in the next one.